Hi, uh, my name is uh, Suraj Palekar and we are currently sitting at uh, the Ginger Hotel in Panjim. We will have some very interesting discussion right now. India is moving into a different direction. We are now talking about startups, we are talking about the Make in India programs. A lot of foreign uh, brands are coming to India setting up their base in India. So, lately we've been discussing with a lot of people that uh, Goa can definitely be another uh, great hub for uh, startups, innovation and startup across for for people across the world. And uh, to have a discussion on this, uh, I have with me uh, Rajesh Joshi, who is a serial entrepreneur. Okay, and he has been uh, a consultant with Big Four, working closely with a lot of governments uh, in India, like Rajasthan, Goa and advising them on uh, startup policies and a lot of other factors, right Rajesh? Correct. And we also have with us uh, Winston Ramos, okay, who is the area director for Indian Hotels company and he handles a complete Taj portfolio um, for Goa, which includes Ginger, Taj, Taj Vivanta and Selections, selections Lama. Ama. So uh, this is going to be a very, very uh, interesting chat or uh, discussion for all the entrepreneurs and the startups which are based out of Goa and definitely not based out of Goa. Guys, uh, welcome and I think we've got a lot of questions which uh, we've received from a lot of people who discuss who we discuss this idea with that why Goa can be a startup hub or why Goa cannot be a startup hub for India. So. There are certain questions which I received from people. I'm going to uh, ask these questions and let's see what kind of answers come up with, you know, come out with. Well, the first question anyways is, uh, Rajesh, you've been uh, in Goa for like two years? One. One year. Uh, so what do you think, how, how has been your experience in Goa? Uh, so, hi everyone. Uh, uh, thanks for having us, uh, Suraj, and thanks for hosting us here at Ginger. I do it's an honor and a privilege. Uh, I, uh, you know, before I uh, started consulting with the governments of uh, India, I have been an ex-entrepreneur myself. I've done six startups in different industries. I've traveled across and I've seen how other cities or other locations are developing as some kind of hub. Uh, so obviously one year back when I got an opportunity to come to a place where I have only come for holidays and vacations uh, to be able to work here. So it was a great experience. We met a lot of startups. We have, uh, as part of startup promotions, that we interact regularly with the startups. We certified 108 startups. I think Goa government has been, though a small state, but with big heart, I think they have disbursed close to more than 50 plus lakh uh, rupees post COVID. So the experience has been great. I see a lot of energy, enthusiasm, the youth, a lot of the Goan diaspora want to come back to something for Goa, you know, who are spread across uh, the world. Uh, so I think it was very, very motivating that how a place which is known for vacation and holiday could actually be a destination for work as well. And so very good uh, experience professionally. I was reluctant, hesitant that Goa, you know, associated with Susega, how it comes. But I think the energy of the youth and the young entrepreneurs here was very, very gratifying and satisfying. And I think uh, Goa is on to something better. So, uh, so I think like rightly, rightly mentioned has been uh, the most favorite destination for uh, vacation for people across the world. So maybe coming back to that, maybe I would ask this to you, uh, Vincent. Uh, what do you think if not tomorrow Goa becomes a startup hub, you know, and people across the world start coming here? Do you see any kind of changes in Goan hospitality? Do you think uh, there, there is a way or there are uh, ways in which it will benefit hospitality or travel business in Goa? Thank you, Suraj and Joshi, my colleague. So I think uh, I would start off with to say that what better place than Ginger to discuss this lovely topic <laughs> of innovation startup. You right. know? And if you see around here, it's all innovative. It's it's people who not believe that a budget hotel or a budget brand could be something like this. You know? And I think uh, Suraj, we are already there. You know, the startup thing, the fever has caught up in Goa. And you see, we have just started off with a brand called Ama. Hmm. Now, Ama is a great example of startup. You know, we started another thing called Cumin, which is again food delivery. Again, a great example of 
of uh, startup startup yeah. uh, and innovation so i think the story has started and as joshi rightly put it you know that uh, goa is always perceived as a susaigat place but i can see a lot of startups happening and i would encourage everyone you know to think even more larger and bigger to make this startup concept a bigger concept because there's a lot for all of us in it you know whether every stakeholder has a lot and the main thing that we were just discussing joshi and myself is the innovation part of startup which keeps you alive can you imagine life without innovation today wherever we are is because of innovation, innovation the technology yeah. the photography uh, the way we are sitting is all because of innovation it started probably by the innovating the wheel you know but we don't think uh, we take things for granted sometimes yes. we don't understand what it is and we need to keep innovating to move ahead in life to progress in life for the betterment of mankind so i mean uh, we are actually talking about delivering this message to the globe the world so and when we say that rajesh why would you really actually say that come to goa what are your reasons for it or why would you say okay don't come to goa so so that's a great question and you know somebody who was born brought up in a metro like mumbai and then been to a lot of metro cities uh, i always uh, for the last one year just the amount of time you travel from your home to your workplace uh, in, in in goa you spend one day of that time correct that's the first reason why you need to move is the convenience of transportation i mean the, the uh, distance the, the distance and the time right yeah. so for example uh, when you are in a place like metro you are traveling so much up and down that the time which you are wasting or losing that time could be invested spending time with family uh, doing pursuing your hobbies doing something catching up on reading and i think innovation and startup as you know uh, sir was saying that innovation also requires a free mind when your right. mind is in a traffic in a metro mm-hmm. you are not innovating then ke char ghante you yes. technically spend in driving correct you will be yeah. so that is the first main reason and i have been benefited by moving here one year back because i got out of that free time um, you know to do that the second reason is the work life balance right it's like uh, you want you you have a good balance here you can maintain the work life you just be outdoors you're near the beach or you're up in the hill doing you know close to nature i don't think any other place in in, in india can offer that uh, uh, you know with the beach and a hill uh, so that another reason third is um, if you see a lot of startups are innovating for different strata of people right so we talk about bharat 1 bharat 2 bharat 3 right so you basically startups are solving problems of the common man that includes the uh, the urban class and also the rural if you see goa within few kilometers you have both uh, you have all the three there so startups innovation when you are innovating for you know you have the market right here you can test and for startups the most important thing is the proof of concept right so that's from the startup angle why as professionals you need to move here so there could be investment professionals Uh, interior designers, architects, they could actually make the base here and kind of innovate for the world as such life because for the first three factors which I mentioned, so that's a good. But reason. but but Rajesh, uh, you know, probably this question I would be uh, for all three of us. Do you think, uh, you know, Vincent and Rajesh, is Goa ready for this? Are the people of Goa ready to get in these number of people to Goa? Is the system ready? Is the infrastructure ready? you know to actually handle this kind of you know a setup in goa so again that's a great follow up question the way i see it is uh, you know a place to evolve requires three main things right the, the tolerant culture the technology and the talent i think well, goa inherently has because of its tourist destination the people have been tolerant so if i look at from the people mindset cultural point of view they have been receptive to people coming here so, so technically i think everything things. boils down to tourism in goa because it's it just people mindset for, uh, yes uh, so i feel we've been actually conditioned for it yeah i feel if you go 200 kilometers left or i mean south or north there are beaches there but why goa as a hub uh, made it to the tourist map right i think it's because of the goan tolerant culture so i feel from the people point of view they are ready uh, i think where goa the infrastructure point which you mentioned what i feel is maybe the education system is not yet evolved so you know people who have two kids three kids uh, you know one kid at a certain age maybe that education system is still not in here but then you know the choices whether you want to 
make your uh, children learn in concrete jungles or you want to make your or teach your children in beautiful place like this apart from that i think uh, they are ready uh, to some extent the work culture could be worked upon and i think that's the also the reason why people like us should talk more and take this message so, so take this question again with vincent uh, the reason is see we uh, vincent you must have noticed in last uh, almost a decade there is a lot of lot of hotels coming up in goa there's a lot of inventory which is you know available so definitely it shows that everybody is looking at go from a very uh, touristic perspective or probably from a tourism perspective nobody has been actually talking here about yaar uh, yahan pe like incubation center banate hain we will do something for a startup so vincent what is your take on this so uh, i think the covid has taught us a lot of things you know okay. to begin with and uh, uh, what i personally believe that goa has the potential and we all agree to it uh, whether we have the infrastructure i would say yes and no we do have infrastructure uh, whether we want infrastructure again it's yes and no we might not want to have as much infrastructure as as we would like to have because the place is made up like that but i think uh, if you ask me very honestly goa is ready for it goa is doing well you know and i think uh, uh, you talk about in hotel industry every brand is in goa you yes. know whether it's marriott hyatt whatever it is that itself tells you is not only us but the world perceives that we are ready for it. why would a hyatt come to india or why would the marriott first come to goa whether before even going to mumbai or going to elsewhere now probably they have more hotels but but the first marriott was in goa so that gives you a clear message that goa is ready but but goa also has a history of lot of uh, resistance to anything new coming into this i mean let's take an example there are a lot of brands which came pretty late in goa uh, let's talk about kfc or i don't know what are the reasons but it did come pretty late I mean, as a general citizen i would look at it that way anything that probably wants to come in here there is always a resistance how do you look at that uh, you know situation well i can understand why kfc didn't do well here because the bowen food is so good that <laughs> you would want to just have that for breakfast lunch dinner having uh, having that point aside i think uh, uh, so the way i see it is uh, every consumer brand who wants to come to a place like goa might not do as well that's the reason why we think it's a good place for innovation and startups right because for a consumer ah. brand they require the numbers right and goa by the virtue of the population and by the virtue of what coming so i can understand why a consumer brand doesn't do well here but it's a great place to come and innovate and you know start a startup and just just an example and sometimes it gets forgotten you know the guy who founded uber travis he actually coded uber when he was backpacking in kerala and goa or oh, is it in, in that six months he got an idea in the us or i think in paris and That's he amazing. actually did the uber application coding when he was backpacking on the west coast of india and he used to say that in the earlier interviews and you you'll find that on youtube so i think that's the opportunity and that's the opportunity which i think winston can be i've been speaking about the opportunity is there to innovate start in goa and for that i think goa has everything ready like i said maybe for a middle aged professional for the kids maybe the education system still needs a bit of doing up in most schools i think i just read in the newspaper that only the first ivy school opened just recently here so that apart from that yes and i think uh, i have that smile i can see your smile and read some of the, uh, read from the smile and the work culture right so i think the work culture will evolve so for example maybe if i look back 40 years back maybe goa our search was not great in hospitality because but then so many hotels come as vincent was saying maybe that hospitality and that travel thing kind of build up in people so we have a lot of seafarers going from goa right so that shows that how it evolved so i think it's just a matter of people like us brands corporates coming here making it like a hub and uh, and and you know taking the susega out of their life and showing some other way of having susega right? no, no, so but i think right now we are just talking about goa the people and the a little bit of infra i think the government is going to play a very very important role here you know uh, we will require what do you think i mean don't you think that there has to be a great support coming in from government of goa for these kind of uh, you know uh, projects especially we're talking about starting something big in goa getting people outside you know uh, outside the state and getting them here making them stay here work here i think government is going to play a very very important role on this what do you think no i i i know suraj from where you're coming and what you're trying to 
get out of us. I, I completely understand that. And I understand what I read the newspaper. We all read the newspapers. Yeah. And you see this lot of negativity. I don't want this project, you know, uh, or for that matter, even if it is a blue certification on the beach, for example, it's, you know, people are opposing and all that. Having said that, I can talk for my company, yeah. you know, having said that, you know, the Taj, what it is today, the first hotel of the Taj and the first five star hotel started with Fort Agwada 1974. And that is, in my opinion, a great innovation or, or a startup yeah. in those days' terms. You know, today we can have a different term. And you see how things have evolved. I'm, I'm sure there were oppositions at every end. And we always try to get skeptical at every time. Will this happen? Will it work? There are so many agitations. There is so much happening. People are trying to oppose. But we have put this behind us. And we have come a long way up to here today. And in, it's, it's a blessing of God that what Goa is today. You know, today Goa is booming. You know, for the for the IHCL company, we have all the brands here. It's a complete story. Uh, I don't think of any other state which has all the brands. So we have to begin with the Taj, then we have the Vivanta, then we have the selection with the Siddhati Goa, then you have the Ama, then you have the Ginger. So we have all the brands. We have the Taj sets which uh, uh, to the uh, uh, catering uh, to the airlines. Yeah. So we have everything here. And that's big, and that makes Goa story complete, you know. So, and that is the confidence that we have, you know. It's a very Indian company that we have. We have so much confidence in Goa that Goa is the right place for everything. Leave aside all these other things that are happening, all these things, all this will be gone, you know. And I know right from my college days, you know, right from there, there was supposed to be one college that was coming up, Bodhi Tala, Trust, and all that thing. As a student, you know, there were a lot of agitation those days also. But Goa has come a long way and I have this faith yeah. that, that you know, what is important is that we all are positive, okay? We all have to be positive and there comes a time where you are very skeptical, will this work, will that not work, uh, what's happening to Goa? But I think it's going to be on the positive side, you know, all this will be past us and I think Goa is going to emerge as a winner eventually. That's what I feel and uh, I, I have full faith in the, in the system. Whilst there has been whatever the infrastructure is radio, uh, someone just told me, I was talking to my driver this morning, we were going uh, towards uh, south and I said, I think this should be the last project, the highway project which has come just now, where we were driving, I said thanks to uh, the chief minister, you know, for doing this. But some people have also of the opinion that Goa means those narrow lanes and the coconut trees and you know, I said, fine, apart from this project, there should be no other project for this thing, Either if you start doing the modern highways everywhere, yeah. then Goa won't be what Goa is. The charm. You're the charm. But yes, we need that highway today. Yes. You know, because if somebody had not had the vision of having that highway, you know, how much, just to get out from this point, okay, from the bus stop yeah. to Bamboli, it was a, a nightmare. You know, Zuari Bridge crossing was a nightmare. We need that. You know, there's certain things that you need, yes. you know, and certain things you have to keep up with time. So I think everything is going very well for Goa at this time, at this moment, you know, Yes, we need to uh, really encourage our, our millennials for startups and that's why we are here and, and to give them the faith that hey listen, startups is the way forward, right? Startups is, is, is what is going to keep you in business. You know, it's not that normal job that you, you always had, you know, you'll go for a job, you know, once upon a time in, nine, in about 30 years, 40 years back. If you don't get a government job, your life is over, right? So, or you don't become a doctor or you don't become an engineer, finish. Yes. That's the end of your life. No, but today you see the guys who are, we were talking about over the startup, you know, the guys who have really thought about all these innovation startups are the ones who are doing much, much better than a government employee, than a doctor, than an engineer. Even a doctor today has to think of about a startup to keep him, himself alive or afloat or to be on top of the thing. So I think uh, the startup culture is what we are here for. And I think that's very, very important. And I think we have a great, great future and great, great, uh, I would say, uh, standing in the future if we have the startups going on within Goa. So having said and you know, speaking about government, you worked very closely with governments. Yeah. You worked with Rajasthan government. You are, you've just recently been working with Goa government. What is your honest opinion in terms of the responses or probably the kind of, you know, a turnaround time that you've actually seen with governments? on any project or any, in terms of any deliverables, what do you think? Uh, so again, uh, it's a tough question for me, uh, having worked with the government. 
but I feel that uh, you know, there's a change in governance, you know, yeah. and that's and this change is across the world. It's been in India. I think governments today are a lot more empathetic, but the problem is the citizens have become apathetic. So citizens have apathy, and the government has empathy. I think that's because of citizens' experience of past. I think that's so. That's where mismatch, right? Earlier, the government were not as empathetic. But today they are right. Okay. So that is an opportunity for us, right? Like I always say, when um, you know, um, and I've done business from the '98, right? So patience was always a virtue for an entrepreneur. Uh, perseverance was always a virtue, and I always tell entrepreneurs, you should have the other P coming in your entrepreneurship, which is policy. Look at different government policies, either enable new policies. Or look at how you can take benefit of this policy. So, so, so just for example, like I mean, I have a few friends here who have moved to Goa, uh, you know, and uh, they have been here for 10, 11 months. Uh, so obviously, when we have moved to Goa from other states, we came here, and I think within one year, we, the, the friends and the professionals we are would have spent around 25 lakh rupees here. Right? Uh, just assume 25 lakh rupees, one person has spent in Goa. Thousand people to attract like that. The Goa economy will become a 250 crore economy just by attracting this thousand people. And that's the opportunity for the government. So I'm trying to make the government understand what is this opportunity for them. To your most difficult question, which was about the the, the time it takes. So, like I said, entrepreneurs today need to have perseverance. If you can perceive for your idea to become successful or your technical team to come up with a product and wait ages and months, I'm sure you can find that perseverance for the government to give you the grants, the funding or even a time to meet you, right? So I think perseverance is very important. I think as uh, Sir was saying that, you know, entrepreneurs and this are so enthused, they are like, oh, we want everything yesterday, right? But here you're dealing with the government with their own structure. But I'm saying the government nowadays are listening, they're empathetic, and we as entrepreneurs, we as professionals, should make use of that. Like, you know, we should be presenting them idea, and I'm sure they are receptive. Like, I, I just talked about the technology, talent, and tolerant culture, right? That was actually told to me by uh, the secretary, sir. He came, he gave me the creative plus concept. So even they have those concepts, and they need people like us to execute and take that message there. So I think it's a give and take. It's about understanding each other and trying to make things happen for the land. No, I completely agree with Joshi what he said, and I think that that's the crux of the whole thing. You know, yeah. the economy of of Goa and then finally the economy of India, and that's what uh, the worry was. Uh, having said that, uh, I think for the last ten months you've been here, Joshi. But I would say the whole of India was probably here, yes. right? For the last ten months, no. I came no, for professional. You reason. came for professional, uh, but people a, came yeah. because you know. I think they felt comfortable with Goa, yeah. with nature. We have a great managing director, Mr. Puni Chadwa. He saw this opportunity of startup at every level. You know, he right from Ama, he started with this concept of uh, the villa, villa concept with your own swimming pool, where people are doing their own uh, vacations. You know, yeah. they work and they they also also have a vacation. Right, so he came up with this concept. By the way, he said a very important thing, and it will catch up in Goa. He said the word called workation. That's, that's workation. exactly the no, that's not my idea. It's my my MD's idea, the uh, Mr. Chatwal's idea. Then he came up with this cumin with the food deliveries and you know things like that, and and lots of small packages. You know, 4D was our most successful okay. package. You know, you dream, you drive, you okay. you discover and you delight. 4D. Wow. Uh, we we floated 4D, and that's exactly people went for that. You you they came with their own cars. There were so many of the startups that we thought of, you know, small, small things at a granular level, at a macro level. And I think it's because of the startups and the innovation that our company, if you see, our company as a Indian hotels is is leading in Goa because of this, you know, because of all these little startups of I just there's another thing that came up that, you know, the touchless service, right? You know, so whether it's a key you are talking about or anything. So all these things kept our company alive. And the brand alive in the hearts and the minds of our uh, our customers and our guests. Mm -hmm. That was what was the most important thing. Because every time you go and say 4D or iGest and everything, iGest in fact just won an award from Travel and Leisure for uh, one of uh, innovation. innovations for innovations. You know, so I think uh, that is the whole uh, beauty of life. I would say, and to keep us alive, all of us alive in these troubled times, I think this is the way forward. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think. Uh, that, that's some really great insight on uh, 
Goa being the next startup hub and uh, well uh, anything else you guys want to actually put across before we end this no i think um, you know um, we all have said what we yeah, said actually. what we have to say and i uh, really really uh, impressed with the knowledge of mr joshi and the way he put things in pers- in the perspective you know that's what, what is important and he understands and i suraj you also and i think uh, it's a great uh, a uh, debate that we had i wouldn't say debate or maybe a chat over a cup of coffee but uh, i think it's important uh, for the world to know this and get motivated and be ready for the future yeah well uh, there was the uh, chat on goa being the uh, next uh, startup hub uh, well this whole uh, conversation was in association with lucid trails and uh, goa news hub which is another startup uh, in goa Well uh thank you guys and I think uh, we should go and start our work again outside. Yeah. All right thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.